You know, the subject of twins is always fascinating to people. Uh, they, they either do or do not understand what twins are all about. Um, I'm just wondering, was it difficult growing up knowing there was a little clone of yourself uh, right, right, living with you, playing with you, going to school with you? <laughs> like I said, you know, we didn't know anything differently, and, you know, he's not my clone. You know, a lot of times people would ask, so what's it like to be a twin? And my, the response I would usually give is, well, what's it mm -hmm. like not to be a twin? I mean, it's just, it, it is what it is. It's more like it, he's my brother, but we just happen to have the same birthday to me. Did you guys take the same classes? Uh, did, you, did you have same similar academic interests as you went to school? Yeah, I think I took the harder classes because, you know, he just he had a hard time with those. <laughs> you, know, I, I, you know, I think we just naturally um, gravitated towards similar interests because, you know, maybe it's somewhat genetically based, but also because we were always, you know, exposed to the same things growing up, and I think that somehow, uh, you know, drives what you're, you're interested in. So you know, as far as, you know, maybe academic stuff, but also like what kind of sports and other interests were were similar because of their, you know, similar upbringing. I, you know, I think that throughout high school, I can only remember of uh, being in one class together. Just Spanish. Kind of worked. Oh, okay, then two. Spanish yeah. and biology in 12th grade. AP biology. That's, they tried to, that's it. you know, in elementary school, for instance, we were never allowed to be in the same class. I don't know if that was a uh, school system policy or it was my parents desire but that was never that was actually you know prohibited and then later in like junior high and high school it was very rare for us to be in the same class did you guys double date to further confuse uh, the social situation never never thought about it no. deliberately or just by coincidence well I think you know it's you know if you had any brothers or sisters you probably didn't go on double hmm. dates with them and their girlfriend or boyfriend. It's kind of like the same thing. It's just, I don't think I've a little bit odd. I don't think I've ever gone on a, a double date with anyone. So, did you ever pull pranks in school by impersonating each other? Actually, not one time. And I think it was because very early on, we would get a lot of pressure to do that, and we just didn't want to, you know, go with the the peer pressure. I mean, I, I would say almost weekly somebody would say you guys should do this you should switch classes you you know so we you know very early on we just said no we're not going to do that i think we were saving up for the big prank someday and we have the perfect opportunity now who's got the better sense of humor speaking of pranks i don't uh, know that's that's for somebody else <laughs> to decide while you were in school uh, as you went along uh, year to year, uh, who actually, you may not want to admit this, but who had the better grades? Who was the better student? He did, clearly, until, uh, until we got to uh, college. I was a little less serious in, uh, you know, going through elementary school, junior high and high school. I was more interested in kind of what was going on outside of the classroom versus inside. And then, you know, later when I got into college, I decided I wanted to, you know, fly Navy airplanes and you know eventually be a test pilot so I took my schoolwork more seriously. I don't think I remember him ever once doing homework. Yeah I did pretty good for not doing <laughs> for doing very little homework yeah. actually considering you know the well, level Mark of effort. Mark probably doesn't want to admit that but that would imply that he's the smarter of the two. Well he did more homework yeah. and he had better grades I think is what that would imply. <laughs> Let's talk for a second about your folks. Um, how did they handle twins? I don't from, know from, how from my the mother. Of your recollection. I don't know how my mother handled us as, as little kids. I certainly wouldn't have been able to. I mean, we were kind of, you know, pretty wild and would fight with each other all the time. And so I really got to hand it to her for putting up with us and not, you know, dropping us off in an orphanage. Pretty much every day we would get into fist fights, so it was it was tough for my mom. She'd try to break them up, you know, and then, you know, some of these fights would last hours and hours because we were so evenly matched. Yeah. Born out of what? Uh, what caused you guys to fight? Just natural uh... hatred, natural hatred for one another. 
until the fight was over. Then we were yeah. friends. You know, we <laughs> there were actually some other twins other than the Sarnies. I remember uh, a couple other guys in the neighborhood. And a uh, similar situation. You know, I think it's very common for twins or siblings that are about the same age to be in this constant conflict. Did your folks ever play favorites that you can remember? Absolutely not. No. They've always been very good at trying to be, uh, you know, treat us exactly the same. And even today, you know, you could sometimes get a sense that they want to be, you know, exactly the same with each of us, even at, you know, 46 years old. What uh, influence would you say they had on you as you were growing up? What was the most important thing that they encouraged you to do or steered you to doing? For me, the, the, main, the major influence that I can remember them having is that they always encouraged the both of us that nothing was beyond our abilities. So although you know there were times where I didn't really know what I wanted to do and what kind of opportunity I had, uh, and what you know opportunities were out there, I always knew and had a sense for if I really you know decided that I wanted to do something, be something, you know, put, put enough effort into it, it was achievable. I think the other influence might be because they were both police officers that the, uh, you know, it was this kind of subtle influence of don't get, don't get into too much trouble. I mean, I remember getting into, you know, the normal kind of trouble that a young, you know, kid in the neighborhood would get into, but there was certainly this line out there because of, uh, you know, our parents were both police officers in the town. Were they strict, though, with you? They actually gave us a lot of uh, freedom. You know, my dad worked nights mostly, and uh, while we were growing up, and my mother also worked. So there were times where, when it was just the two of us at home, and uh, you know, they gave us a pretty long leash, actually. What kind of students were you guys um, in, in in overall? I mean, we, you talked about sort of the IQ thing. And the fact that uh, one of you had to study and do more homework, but overall—it's well, not that he had to study and do more homework. It's that he studied, he did more homework, studied, and did better in school, which is, you know, understandable. And I did less and did worse. Were you guys athletes back then? Yeah, we were actually co-captains of the swim team for a couple of years, right? Eleventh and twelfth grade. Yeah, eleventh, twelfth grade, and then, and we were both on the track team. Played baseball when we were younger. Played Pop Warner football. I mean, both Little League and Pop Warner was something we did for, boy, I mean, it probably seemed like 10 years. Um, they have, you know, great programs in, in, in the town for both those sports. Um, so we, we kept pretty busy. On the same teams? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, always, always, actually. Yeah, always on the same team. Did both of you always as you grew up and matured and started looking at, uh, you know, post high school, college, a career, did you always have similar career paths or was there enough of a difference in your interests uh, to lead you in different directions at some point? Well, initially there was. I mean, I went to the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy and Scott actually took a totally different path for a while, uh, going to the yeah, University of Yeah, I went to the Maryland. University of Maryland for a year and uh, was considering maybe you know being a medical doctor but decided you know my other interest was maybe flying airplanes in the Navy just kind of changed my mind and changed schools and changed majors and decided you know to focus a hundred percent on that so he's actually a year senior to me in the Navy I actually remember going to visit him at, at the University of Maryland probably towards the end of his first year and then showing him all the pictures of Navy airplanes and telling him I was going to go and go ahead and do this. That's not how I remember it. And then he said something like, yeah, right. that sounds <laughs> a lot better than being a doctor. <laughs> not how I remember it. No fist fights on the set. Uh, 